Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com. You know, I've just returned from the planet Baxia, and it's been a while since I was there. So it's always fun when I'm on Baxia to tool around the local record emporium and see what's still around, because there are more Bax things on Baxia than you'll find anywhere else, and they tend to stay in print there because there's a local market and they can license stuff and whatnot. And I saw this wonderful disc. I have to say one other thing. I had an absolutely marvelous, marvelous meal of bangers and mash on Baxia because the Baxian bangers are better than anyone else's bangers. So if you want a banger, go to Baxia. I'm just telling you right now. Anyway, after that, um, I found this sitting around um, in a a cutout bin. I, I hope it's still available here. I didn't check, but it was there were dozens of them on Baxia. Um, they probably scooped up the remaining supply here in the in, in the the rest of the uh, you know other non-Baxian planets. Let's put it that way. And you get some really fascinating chamber works. Hello, Finster. I know she missed me. She really missed me. Hi. How you doing? You want to come back over here on your spot? No? You want to just sit there and stare? Okay. So anyway, Finster is here. I just can't resist. There she is. Right. Isn't this fun? Yeah, you can see yourself there. Huh? Amazing, isn't it? Okay. So anyway, let's, go, let's, let's get back to this, shall we? This is chamber music. Bax was not known for his chamber music. Uh, and I can understand why, because so much of his musical allure um, depends on his handling of a large and colorful orchestra with lots and lots of instruments. And also on the fact that stylistically, uh, you know, he's, he's one of those composers who's constantly evolving his material. It seldom comes back the same way twice. And so if you can present it in new coloring, that tends to keep things interesting even if you have no idea what he's doing. And uh, when you're doing chamber works, well, it's a little bit more complicated because the, the, the timbres are more monochrome and you have fewer options to try and convey a sort of large scale vision or at least distract people to, so that they believe that that's what you're doing. Anyway, whatever, I have to be nice because the Baxians are just such charming people. And this is a wonderful disc featuring the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields Chamber Ensemble and Chandos with Margaret Fingerhut. Yeah, it's great being a pianist with a name with finger in your last name. It's so appropriate. He's a finger hut, finger works, finger job. Oh, never mind. I don't want to go there. Uh, okay, so first we have the octet. Yes, and the octet is for string sextet, horn, and piano. And immediately you can hear how with Bax, even in his chamber works, he's at his best when he has a plethora of instruments to work with, a larger ensemble that gives you more textural and timbral opportunities. Um, it's a lovely work, only 16 minutes long and two movements, a meditation and a scherzo. And I mean, what's not to love? It's beautiful. Then we have a one movement string quartet that's 11, no string quintet, pardon me, that's 11 minutes long. Um, which I can take or leave personally. It's it's okay. It's it's a not major piece. But then we come to the major, 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 major piece. Oh my goodness! Well, one of the major pieces here, the concerto for flute, oboe, harp, and string quartet, also known as a septet. Now, now we're we're talking. We're smoking here because you've got a harp that he can play with first of all. Um, and it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's just beautiful. The middle movement is a cavatina, a cavatina, and it's so cavat-like. Yes, it sings, it's, oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. I love chamber music with harp. I mean, I'm a sucker for that stuff. And it's usually sort of a French specialty, but Bax did a bit of it here because the next work is his Threnody and Scherzo for bassoon, harp, and string sextet. The threnody is nine minutes long of bassoon threnody. Okay, maybe that's pushing it a little bit. You know, it really is. Especially after you've had your bangers and mash, after your backsy and bangers, you're not into a threnody. Um, you know, you need something a little livelier, but it ends with a scherzo. Yay, thank you. Thank you for the scherzo. Really, really just a wonderful piece. And finally, in memoriam. In memoriam for cor anglais, also known as English horn, and harp 
and String Quinn String Quartet. There we go, from 1916. Nine minutes of in memoriam. I mean, elegiac, of course, it's got an English horn, you know, sort of toodling away there, but it's just lovely. I mean, this is a wonderful, wonderful disc of unusual, distinctive chamber music, totally in character for this composer. Um, the sonics are marvelous. If you can find it, you really may want to give it some thought because it's just terrific. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me and try those Baxian bangers. You're going to love them. Take care.